as a result of my radiologic experience and interest in these incidental findings, okay. my, my path through this world took a lot of interesting turns. I met Shannon Brownlee, who mm -hmm. wrote the book Overtreated, yep. and some of the people with whom she affiliates, which has been very interesting. Mm -hmm. It also resulted in my being appointed to a National Cancer Institute board, an editorial board for cancer screening and prevention. And what we do is maintain the website, the NCI NIH websites, for, for 31 different cancers. So if you Google prostate cancer, you'll almost certainly find the NCI site. And what we do is, at physicians, epidemiologists, statisticians, we call the worldwide medical literature monthly, critically review it, and decide which literature is valid enough to merit an update, a revision, a citation, in this data bank that's available both to health professions and the public. And it's intended to be comprehensive, authoritative, and scrupulously unbiased. So that, that was another wonderful opportunity that grew out of some of the people I met and some of the... Right. Your uh, journey. My journey. Right, your journey. I gave this TED Talk and that brought it to other people's attention and right. that kind of... Technology enables us to see much more. When I was a young radiologist, one abdominal CAT scan had about 50 images such as this. Now one scan has 300 to 3,000 much finer images. I review more images on one patient scan than I did in three full days of work back then. Technology enables us to see more, and that's a benefit, but that, less obviously, is the problem.